2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Tell him sit down. Be humble. 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 Sit down. We've got rabid Los Angeles fans packed inside the Staples Center. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin, LeBron James does not mind being a vocal leader. He said conflict was just part of the game for me growing up. I played outdoors, and if you didn't win, you might not play again for the rest of the day. Now I'm the leader of this team, and I expect nothing less than greatness out of all of us. I'm going to hold everyone accountable, including myself. Kevin? And that's so great to hear, D.A. LeBron is a proven leader and champion, as we all know, expects to contend for a championship every year. There is no shortage of athleticism in this one tonight. Clark, both these teams just incredibly athletic on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I agree with you there, partner. I mean, they cover so much ground, and they cover it quickly because of the length and speed they have as teams. I mean, excellent length on both sides of the ball in this one, and they, they play to their strengths, and that's length and athleticism. And so off the tip, it's Boston. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Brown and Hayward out on the perimeter. Tatum out there with Horford, and it's Irving at the one. Now here is Horford. Here's Hayward. The kick out to Irving. Launches it. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. James outside. Caldwell Pope against Brown. Caldwell Pope kicks to James. There's the triple. Al Horford with the rebound. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Brown, good. Hey, guys, that's just outstanding confidence from Brown. I mean, getting up with the shot right away and giving the defense no time to react, that's impressive. Ball, no good. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Brown champs it in! And what amazing athleticism from Brown putting on a show out there with slams like that. That Unleash Chaos Under Armour replay really giving us a good look at the action. Now here's James. He dishes it to Lopez. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. Nobody near Irving. Sinks the three-pointer. Irving's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. L.A.'s gone 0 of 2 from deep here. James in the post. Ended by Hayward. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to James. Anything you can do, I can do better. We got a little gamesmanship going on. Yeah, a little mano-mano, back and forth. Guys going at each other, giving this game a little bit of edge and personality. I like it. And that one drops for him. Irving's got five points so far. An almost perfect start to this game. Four for five, they're rolling. You know, so many people were surprised at the Kyrie Irving trade, but throughout the decades, Boston's been unafraid to pull the trigger. I mean, they moved up to number two to draft the great Bill Russell. Moving back to number three to draft McHale at Parrish, assembling the big three for a championship, then dismantling that big three for all those unprotected picks. This is an organization that stops at nothing to try and win titles. Here's Tatum following the basket by Julius Randle. Shot clock at five. Irving misses. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely, and that's a shot that if you're a pro, you need to make that one. 
you know, thinking about Kyrie's legacy here in Boston, this is a town that cares only about championships. That's how his contribution is going to be measured. And only time will tell if he can walk in the shoes of the greatest players to ever put on a Celtics uniform. Here's Ball following the basket by Kyrie. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. hey. What's out now? Watch out. Boy, Ball has a nice feel for when his guys are open. He's solid, really solid when it comes to getting his teammates clean looks. Now, here is Irving. He's got seven. Shoots over Ball. Another miss by Irving. And you just make the assumption that's going down. I mean, an uncontested mid-range jumper, I think he should have buried it. But you know what? He didn't. It happened. Here's Ball. They trail by three. And Tatum pulls it down. He must hit that shot. I mean, the defense, non-factor. Very surprising he missed it. Hayward outside. On deep. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Boy, Brown not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. Ball dishes to James. The pass to Ball. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Celtics leading by six. Brown the pass to Irving. Picked by Horford. Irving kicks to Horford. No good on the three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. So the Celtics Sorry. call timeout their first. And Randall, a dominant rebounder, but, you know, Clark, can he man that center position for stretches, do you think? I don't know, Kevin. He's a little undersized, but he has the motor. He's got the timing and strength, just not the length. He's not a natural rim protector, but sometimes effort can overcome your weaknesses. Teams changing it up here. 111 left here in the first quarter. Here's Rogier. Morris a screen. Three pointer. Hayward. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Ball with it. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. There's a screen. Here's Ingram. Oh, the jam by Ingram. Major props given up to Ingram for aggressively attacking the rim. Not many guys want to get in this path when he goes like that. Here's Rogier. Hayward kicks to Baines. Morris outside. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. And the Lakers with possession here. Eight-point game. Hayward dishes to Smart. Over Hart. And off the front iron, and in it goes. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Oh, look out, and then you throw him stuff like that. <laughs> you go, oh my, how does it even go in? He pulls a Houdini. Oh, and so it's the Boston Celtics bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. We've got more in store for you right after this. He caught up with Kyrie Irving earlier, and he talked a little bit about expectations for himself and his teammates. You know, we expect so much out of each other every single night, and you know the team is going to go as hard as we go, as well as the other pieces that we have on the team. But we have to control it from a standpoint that we have to play off each other. 
why are we reminding us that it's not just the expectations of the fans and the media, but also perhaps the most demanding of all are the expectations they've got for each other. Oh, oh yeah. They're constantly trying to manage expectations while still demanding the best from one another. And I got to tell you, it's fun to watch. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Lakers. They've got Ingram. All out there with Hart. Then there's Channing Fry, And it's Kuzma in at the power forward. And really no other way to put it but the Lakers with that dramatic front office change last season around that deadline and new big name leadership. And the hope is that they can escape from what's been an awfully rocky patch here of Lakers history. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You got to be mindful of that. Smart. He can't hit that top. So the Lakers will take it the other way. And the turmoil for the Lakers up top has certainly been fodder for the newspapers in Southern California. Yeah, uh, border takeover attempts, infighting, court battles. I mean, this has been a soap opera. But one thing is certain, in order to be successful as a franchise, you need everybody on the same page. Here's Morris following the basket by Lonzo Ball. Here's Rozier, shot clock at six. Three-pointer, Hayward. No good, his first miss after three makes. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Smart kicks to Hayward. Here's Baines, guarded by Fry. There's the screen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. The Celtics shooting their first free throws of this game. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team, so you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. He misses the free throw, and the speed of the NBA is something that just can't be measured until you experience it. So, Clark, when you take that into account, who are some of the quickest players right now in the league? Well, I think you start with Russell Westbrook and John Wall. I don't think there's anybody in the league quicker than those guys with the ball. Those guys can go end-to-end -end quicker than anybody. Wall might be the fastest. Westbrook is right there with him. I mean, you look at this Celtics roster, a bevy of long, athletic wing players. They seem to be taking a cue from teams like the Warriors, who have found success with defensive switching and, and positionless basketball. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy do. Very, very well done. Pick by Horford. Irving passes to Horford. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Lakers trail by three. Then kicks to James. To the paint. It's deflected. And stolen by Horford. Brown outside. And the rejection by Zubats. Now here's James. He's guarded closely. He's at the pick. Over to the wing. Beyond the arc. Hart, that's good. Hart's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Lakers. 
You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. Lakers have gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. Caldwell Pope outside. He kicks it to LeBron. Over Tatum. Off the left rim and out. Boston's gone 1 of 3 from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Irving dishes to Tatum. Back to Irving. Tatum setting the pick for Irving. And the rejection by Zubats. Here's Hart. He has six. Kicks to Caldwell Pope. There's a good screen. And nice looks screen. like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. It was very close, and I wouldn't mind letting them play on that one. It wasn't blatant by any means. Julius Randle's checked in for the Lakers. Now here's Irving. He's got nine. Randle grabs the board. And, you know, where was the defense there, Kevin? I mean, even though he missed it, that was not a good effort. Pitiful. Passes to Hart. Back to Randle. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Just four to shoot. Over Morris. Offensive rebound. Zubats. Here's Hart. Cranes the three-pointer. Hart's got nine points in the quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Tatum kicks to Irving. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Well, I tell you what, he's putting together quite a game here. Knocking down shots and building upon this lead. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Randall. Here's Hart. Picked by Randall. And it's Zubats atop the key. Here's Caldwell Pope. Second shot opportunity. The shot missing. Some sour defense from Brown. Here's Irving. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against the Lakers. I don't know if there's a player in the league that has better handles than Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, his handles are as good as any I've seen in the history of the game. Smooth, crafty, cunning. Man, it is so much a joy to watch this guy do his thing. good from Irving. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Celtics out in front. They're up by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, they got themselves going in the second quarter. How do you get control of the game back? It starts with not getting the ball out of the net. You know, we, we got to get stops, and uh, it starts in that end. That, that's where it's really going to start for us. And uh, we just got to continue to compete. That's all. Kyrie, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. What a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He had 14 points and one rebound. After a subpar performance in their previous contest, he has come on strong tonight. His first half, sensational. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Efficiency. You know, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. They did some good things, but not enough. They need to start being more assertive. 
Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. Do something. That's it for halftime. Glad you could join us as now we send you back to the action for the start of the third quarter. And I broke my way out. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Yeah, and it's been fun to watch, partner, because not only is he shooting a high percentage, a good percentage, he's also carrying the team. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Lakers trail by four. And the Lakers, Greg, for a long time, could rely on the lure of Los Angeles to draw top three agents. History does a lot, it seems. Yeah, Paul George listing them on his short list shows they still have that pull, but the Lakers will be big players in free agency, I believe, in the near future. On the floor for Boston, Irving and Brown pair at the one and the two. Tatum out there with Hayward, and it's Horford in at the five, roaming the paint. And the jump shot of Al Horford, cash, money, all the time. Got to D him up or you pay the price. Ball kicks to LeBron. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. And how many more possessions like that would they love to get down the stretch? A bunch of them, I bet. Free throw drops for James. And Clark, a lot of former players at a specific instance when they knew they were special, the way they played the game of basketball. Did you ever have a moment like that where you realized that you could make it as a player? Yeah, there was a time when that became more realistic to me, Kevin. And I grew up in Cleveland, and during the summers, a lot of the Cleveland Cavaliers would stay in the area and play pickup basketball to stay in shape and I got a chance to bump heads with a lot of those guys Jim Jones and the late Terry Furlow Austin Carr Bingo Smith Mike Mitchell and I was only 15 16 years old and while those guys were going at half speed it gave me the encouragement that I might be able to get to where they were if I continued to work hard and stay healthy so 15 or 16 during one of those summers I began to realize that I might have a chance to realize the dream of being an NBA and a pretty unorthodox slingshot shooting form for Lonzo Ball he, Greg brings it up on the left side of his face yeah but he still got great balance and the lower body mechanics are perfect good wrist action on the follow through sometimes we get caught up so much in the motion to get to the shot it's about the release point. And when you get there with this guy and the confidence with which he plays, I think it's a non-issue. Terry Rozier's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Pick by Horford. Off the pick. And the basket by Rozier. Rozier's got five. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. Caldwell Pope outside. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And stolen by Tatum. In the corner, it's Hayward. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Lopez. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That one on Horford. The big fella, Lopez, able to weather the hit and make it happen. Boy, I tell you, one of the most accomplished and effective post scorers in the league is Brooke Lopez. I mean, this guy gets it done in there. He's got size, footwork, and the silky smooth touch 
to get it done in a big way on the low block. And with Brooke Lopez's size and strength, Clark, uh, he's got the physical build to back you down and finish over the top. And not to mention, Kevin, you're right about all of that, but the shooting skill, excellent skill, footwork, hands, touch, a high percentage finisher, and an excellent free throw shoot. Here's Fry after Gordon Hayward's bucket. Ball, the pass to Lopez. There's a good screen over Horford. And again, the Lakers, no good. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill, didn't give him a chance. Now here's Hayward. He's got 16. Thick by Horford. Here's Rozier. Lopez covering. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Lonzo Ball picks one up. The Celtics shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And the Lakers, Greg, have acquired some intriguing young talent. Do you see this group blossoming into elite status? I mean, there's still some question marks. Injuries ha have been an issue. Uh, I do see some all-star potential for some of their young fellas. Superstar potential, though, tougher to say. They've got something to build on, though, and that's key. And he makes both free throws. Here's ball. It's a nine-point spread. Pass to Kuzma. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And here's Boston. They're on a 13-5 run. Hayward can hit. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. Now, here's Ball. Hands it from downtown. Ball's got seven. Yeah, you know, it's a quirky release. There's no denying that. But he's a reliable shooter and scorer from the perimeter. Lonzo Ball making it happen. Here is Hayward. Six-point lead. Let's a floater go. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Hayward. Tatum's got himself on the board with three there. And scoring the ball comes easily and naturally to him. He's a versatile player at the offensive end. They set the pick. Ball dishes to Ingram. And there's the pass to Kuzma. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And here's Smart. Feeds it to Baines. Got a hand on it, and he recovers it. He gets it in there. Lakers trail by 11. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Gordon Hayward with another strong contribution so far in this one. He can't miss from deep. The defense has to regroup here, and I think they've got to change things up because he's locked in from behind the arc. And Lakers head coach Luke Walton got his start as an NBA coach in Golden State as a top assistant. He said, looking back, he would have paid to coach under Steve Kerr with everything he's learned. Wow, that's a high compliment from Walton. Kerr and Walton have very similar personalities, too. I mean, both are pretty even-keeled, low-key kind of guys. And when Kerr's back surgery sidelined him, Walton led the Warriors to the best start in NBA history. Pretty amazing. The wall gang is checked in for Hart and then for Boston. Al Horford is checked in for Aaron Baines. Marcus Morris comes in for Tatum. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Terry Rozier. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Zubats is checked in for the Lakers. Austin leading by 11. Smart kicks to Morris. Here's Horford. 
And again, Boston with the triple. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Well, they're dialed in, locked and loaded from outside the arc. It's all about the triple so far. Ingram setting a pick for Dang. Here's Ball. Drops in the layup for two. Ball's got seven points here in this quarter. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Here's Irving. Lays it up off the glass. Irving's got the lead up to 14 now for Boston. Boy, I tell you, I don't know if there's anybody better than Kyrie Irving close to the basket. He has a great feel for how to score inside. Ball, the pass to Kuzma. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's sent back by Horford. You know, Kevin, his team is struggling a bit right now. I mean, I hope he can find his rhythm and start making his shots out there soon. Otherwise, dot, dot, dot. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. One shot, gentlemen. Free throw, good Irving. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Here's Ingram, and it's in off the backboard. Ingram's got seven. And Ingram hits these mid-range jumpers, guys, in his sleep. I mean, the defenses can't allow him to get going from there. That's his sweet spot. And so it's Boston. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They have been sharp from beyond the arc, putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. Right back after this break. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Clark, when you look back at your terrific career, who is the one player that you considered your toughest opponent to go up against? There were a couple of guys. Um, Bernard King from the New York Knicks because we saw them a handful of times a year, and he was just such a phenomenal scorer and a relentless worker offensively. He just never gave you a break. I didn't get to see the West Coast teams, but twice a year. The Denver Nuggets in the early 80s had Kiki Vandeweghe, Alex English, and Dan Issel. And between those three guys, they were averaging about 80, 81 points a game. And I usually dealt with English or Vandeweghe. And those were long nights because those guys moved the ball, shot it from everywhere, and were excellent offensive players. They've got LeBron James, also Ingram out there. Randall out there with Ball, and it's Kuzma in at the two. That's the Laker five. Now here's Smart. He feeds it to Horford. And the wide open shot from Morris. And the three off target. Lakers trail by 15. Ball dishes to Randall. Ingram kicks to James. That one falls. You know, guys, that's what he does. He just loves to play that kind of attacking basketball. Well, the Celtics shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Morris a screen. Horford sets a screen for Hayward. It's stolen by Randall. And there's another one for the Lakers. That's his sweet spot now. Randall, a very good mid-range shooter. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Boston leading by 11. Now Hayward. In the corner, Horford with it. Takes a three. Boston, no good that time either. And I love how his teammates have stepped up for him. He's struggling. But they're ramping it up and getting it done this quarter. Kuzma, that's good. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. Almost happened too late, partner. I mean, their offense didn't come alive until they were nearly out of it, but it is alive now. 
Now a timeout called by Boston. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Can't blame him. I mean, the effort hasn't been there. Just has not been there. Hopefully, he can get the fire lit. Well, it seemed like Destiny the Lonzo Ball would end up with the Lakers. He found his way to the team he grew up watching. You know, and rarely do you see a team and player be such a perfect fit. But that's the case here. And, and the pressure will be on Lonzo to succeed in L.A. Put a lot of faith in, in getting to the Lakers. And remember, he turned down workouts from every other team because he wanted to wear that Laker uniform. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Tatum, he's checked in for Morris. Brown comes in for Marcus Smart. And it's Rozier in for Irving. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens was talking about with his players. He told them, I don't want us to be satisfied yet. We can congratulate ourselves later after we win. Right now, we have to close this one out. He doesn't seem to think this one's over yet, Kevin. LeBron against Hayward. Now the dish, the ball. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got three assists now in this one. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now here's Hayward. This is to Horford. Back to Hayward. Brown outside. Picked by Horford. Just five to shoot. Here's Rozier. And that time, also a missed shot. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly right. Patrolling the perimeter well. And didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A-plus defense. Now here's Hayward following the miss by Brooke Lopez. Here's Rozier. Ball with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over it. And the basket is good. And there you go. A confident score. KCP coming up big when they need it. Here's Rozier. Hayward with the ball. He's picked up by James. The screen from Brown. There's a screen. Here's Horford. Boston, no good that time either. The Lakers have gotten seven of their eight shots to fall here in the fourth. A tremendous offensive output. The feed to Randall, and it's ball at the elbow. He dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Lopez, a screen on Brown. Caldwell Pope kicks to LeBron to take the lead. Here's Randall. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. Randall's got the lead up to one now for the Lakers. Calm when it counts. Randall has that clutch DNA. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by one. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Anzo Ball. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had it open, him, he's taken it. Rozier. Brown outside. And he's good on the three ball. And the Celtics lead by two. Hey, and with Brown, guys, it doesn't matter what point in the game it is. I mean, he's ready to shoot whenever he has the ball in a good spot. Ball, the pass to Caldwell Pope. He kicks it to James. Passes it to Ball. Lopez outside. Six to shoot. Floats one up. It falls. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Here's Boston now. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Picked by Horford. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. A three-pointer off the mark. Ball with it. 
Terrell Bolt with a screen for Ball. From deep three-point range, it's in! A big-time bucket there. They've got to play for a stop here with the two-point lead. Most important thing, no open three. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by two. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchor it in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it fly. If it's something in the paint, then you take that. But it's about being a good, quick shot in this situation. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. They had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what, Greg? Who knows? A few misses at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And, and James, a, a natural leader. Someone his teammates look up to, and he just has that commanding presence. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. And so the Lakers take the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Lou Dang. What enabled you all to meet the challenge and get this win tonight? We did a good job uh, to keep the game close. David, thank you as always. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you next time.